Hello everybody, you are on Andrima Hello channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run quite interesting Linux distribution on your laptop or computer without installation. Fedora 37. Actually, we're going to install it, but not on your computer. We're going to install it in virtual machine. And believe me, this software is quite useful. So actually in virtual machine, you can run other operating system such as Windows, Linux, and even Mac OS. So let's get back to Linux. Actually, I'm a Windows user and I'm not supposed to use Linux, but my viewers write me in the comment that they want to see other operating system such as Linux. And I decide to make video about Fedora 37 in this case. Today I'm going to run it in VirtualBox. I'm going to show you step by step how to install VirtualBox, how to install Fedora 37 ISO file and how to run it on your Windows computer. Actually everything is very simple and easy. So before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. So let's get it started. So guys, for the beginning, we need to open our browser. In my case, it will be Google Chrome browser. So just click on it. After that, you need to type next. Fedora. Download. And press enter. So right now, I want to mention one important thing. Here you may see Fedora workstation and Fedora server. First time I download and install Fedora server. Previously I mentioned that I'm not Linux user. After installation I just saw window where I need to enter commands like sudo etc. So guys if you are a Linux user please write me in the comment how Fedora server works. So we only have option to type commands or something else. I will be very gladful if you let me know. And the most interesting OS for a basic user will be Fedora Workstation. After installation on your virtual machine, you may see the interface, the basic feature, and actually it will be much easier for people who don't use Linux to install Fedora Workstation. So right now we need to click on this link. All links will be in the video description. Click on it. And voila, we are on the official website from which we can download and install Fedora. As you can see, we see download Fedora 37 workstation. And if we scroll down a little bit, here you may see Fedora 37 x86 64 live ISO. So we need to download this ISO file if we want to run it on our computer that runs on Windows. And in detail, x86-64 mean the architecture of our processor, but in most cases it will suit everyone. So we need to click here, download. So guys, right now we need to wait until Fedora workstation will be downloaded on our laptop or computer. And after that, I will show you the next stage, what you need to do to run it in your Windows. As you can see, a Linux ISO file have only 1.9 GB and definitely it is not so large and it will be convenient for many users. So guys, as you can see, I already download Fedora Workstation ISO file and after that I need to go to the browser another time, click on it and now we need to install virtual machine. So for this we need to type next. virtual box download and press enter so guys here you may see a virtual box download oracle vm virtual box so right now we need to click here all links will be in the video description and first of all you may see virtual box 7.0.4 platform packages actually it can be updated in the future so don't worry about that but the most important that you need to know that you need to select for windows and now we also just need to wait until the latest version of a virtual box will be downloaded on our laptop or computer and after that we just need to install virtual box so friends, I already download VirtualBox and Fedora Workstation. 
please don't mind if you see macOS and Windows 11 22H2 version because I also making other video on my channel. So the most important that we need to do right now, we need to click on VirtualBox. So right now we need to install it. Double clicking. In the first window, we just need to click next. Another time, click next. Nothing complicated in this window. Installing the Oracle VM VirtualBox networking feature will reset your network connection. Don't worry about that. You just need to click yes. Also, I want to mention one important thing. Right now, you need to install all of this window, all of the software that will be recommended to install because I'm making this video in 2022. So probably in 2023, you also will watch this video, but VirtualBox may have a new update. So you just need to install all other components of software. I mean, if in the future you will see another software that will be recommended to install, you just need to install it. Now we need to click yes. And finally, we need to click install. So now we just need to wait until VirtualBox will be installed on our laptop. And we finally install VirtualBox on our laptop. So we can click finish and it will automatically run. Click finish. If you use virtual machine first time, you will see this window. And the most important that we need to do right now, we need to find this icon. You may see new, so click on it. In this window, we need to name our ISO file, our operating system. So I will just type Fedora. Definitely, I do not recommend to type spacebar like this, because probably you may have some issues, so we need to delete this. And also, if you want to name the version of the program, I recommend to do this without the spacebar. For example, like this. But don't do like this because we do not need to use spacebar and probably you may have some issues. But I will delete this, so I delete all numbers and leave just Fedora. After that you may see folder and we can choose the place where we want to install our virtual machine, but definitely I will leave all by default. And the most important that we need to select right now, it's ISO image. We need to click here. And after that you need to find other. Click on it. We need to go to the place where we save our ISO file. In my case, I need to click on downloads and here is our Fedora ISO file. So I just need to click on it and click open. Great job. After that, we just need to click next. And here you may see Linux Fedora 64 bit. Just click next. My friends, please pay attention. This is a very important window. Here we can select how many RAM and cores we want to use in our virtual machine. As you can see, I have 8 GB of RAM, but definitely it will not be the best solution to select, for the example, more than 6 GB of RAM, because right now you may see that it is on the red line and definitely it is too much and it will be better if we move our cursor to the green line. That's mean that everything will work stable. The same thing we can say about our processor. So my system have only two cores and four threads. So definitely I could select two cores and the system will work much faster. I mean virtual machine. After that you may see this option, enable EFI, special OS only. In my case I need to uncheck this option. Because previously I run Windows 11 22H2 version and other operating system and they simply not run. I just see command prompt and that's all. I mean command shell. Probably that's because I have an old laptop since 2013 and my hardware doesn't support this option. But if you have a newer device, you may check this option. It all depends on you. So I have an old laptop, so I will uncheck this option. And after that, I will just click next. Nothing complicated in this window. We can select how many space we want to use. I mean virtual space. We can create a virtual hard drive, so I recommend to create at least 50 gigabytes and it will be more than enough. Be sure to select this option, create a virtual hard disk now, 
we can click Next. Voila! We create our virtual machine. And actually, after this process, we just can click Finish. And here you may see the specification of our virtual machine, the RAM, the space. I think it will be more than enough. We just need to click Finish. After creating our virtual machine, another time here you may see the specs of our system. We can see display, storage, audio and other important feature. Actually, you can change some of this feature. It all depends on you. We can run Fedora. So to run Fedora, we can click here, double clicking and it will run without any problem. Or we can click on the right mouse button and we can just click start normal start and now we just need to wait until fedora will run on our virtual machine also i want to mention that i'm using screen recording program so probably some feature may work not stable and very slow because i have a really old laptop but we are in fedora okay let's open it in full screen or something that look like full screen for those who don't know, right now you can use your keyboard without any problem. To make it more convenient, I will try to open a Linux in full screen. So for this, I will click here on view and I will just select full screen mode. Now we may see the next message. The virtual machine window will be now switched to full screen mode. You can go back to windowed mode at any time by pressing host plus F. So actually host is right control so you need to press control plus F to go back. So we need to click switch in our case and we are in full screen and another time I will try to press control plus F and voila. So another time control plus F and click switch. So now we need to select start Fedora workstation live 37 and press enter. And look what do we see here, Fedora logo and loading process. Okay, we are in Fedora installer and here you may see the next message, welcome to Fedora and we have option to try Fedora and install to our virtual hard drive. It will be better to install it to our hard drive to look at the all feature of Fedora. I think it will be much better. So I will click install to hard drive, click on it. Um, Another time, click on install to hard drive. Okay, we select our hard drive. We need to wait a few minutes. Another time, I want to remind you that I also use screen recording program, so it takes some time. In this window, we can select the language that will suit us the best. So actually, Ukrainian is my language, but I'm making content in English, so I will select English. But you can select other language that will suit you the best. English United States, OK, and after that I will click Continued. So friends, in this window we need to click on System and we need to choose our hard drive, click on it. So this is our hard drive, I just click on it. Another time I select it. And after that I will click Done. Checking Storage, nothing complicated here. So as you can see, we don't have any problem and after this process, you just need to click here, begin installation, click on it. And now you just need to wait until it will be installed on our virtual machine. And after that, we can run Fedora 37 in our virtual box. So friends, this process may take 5, 10 or even 30 minutes. It all depends on your hardware. So definitely I have an old laptop, but if you have a newer laptop or computer, it may take only 5 minutes. So guys, installation process is finished and we install Fedora on our virtual machine. And after that, we just need to click here on finish installation. So friends, another time, let's open the full screen mode. Okay, switch. So friends, we are in Fedora 37. Here you may see the background, the popular background of Fedora. We see some rocks, we see sky. And if we look up at the left corner, here you may see activities. So we can click on it. Here I can choose show application. Let's click on it. 
I see a video icon and actually it looks quite similar to the Google Play Store. Let's go to the settings, click on it. In this window we may see settings, network, Bluetooth, notification. Ok, can we look at the specs of our system? Do we have option for this? Let's find it. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, we have about section. Let's click on it. So now we just need to wait a few minutes. Another time I want to remind you that we run it in virtual box on an old laptop. And definitely this is my processor. Intel Core of third generation. Ok, quite interesting fact. We have 53.7 GB of memory but previously I only allocate 50 GB of memory. If someone know why we see 53.7 GB please write me in the comment. If we scroll down a little bit here you may see Fedora Linux 37 Workstation Edition 64 bit. So let's close the settings. I think it will be more than enough for the first time. Ok, we are on our desktop and here we have option to search for something. So I will try to search for the example Linux. Here we can see no results. As far I understand we can search for apps that already are installed in our OS in Fedora. If I type Fire Fox. Ok, yes, yes, we can find our browser. Nothing complicated here. So friends, uh, you can find your apps that already are installed in Linux. Ok, understood. Another time let's click on applications. We can see clock, we can see maps, videos. Also I understand that in Linux you need to use command. So if we click here, we need to type some command like sudo and press enter. Ok, actually it's all that I know about Linux that you can type sudo and next you need to type other command. So folks, let's turn off our virtual machine. Click here and let's turn off our machine. Power off. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it will help me a lot. Also, on my channel you can watch a lot of interesting videos. For the example, previously I test Windows 11 22H2 version in virtual machine. And you can watch a lot of other interesting operating system and I will be gladful if you watch all of them. Goodbye everyone! See you soon!